Hello and welcome to the June event for Backyard Jam's regular season 2024. Thank you for joining us here on a very sunny day here on the Backyard track. Lots going on today, but first let's talk about last month's champion, Jester. Across all the diecast series on YouTube, the Jester Laid has been notoriously fast recently and that was no different here on Backyard Jam in May as they took not only the title of the event, but also clinched enough points to go first place in the table. Let's take a look at that table now to see where everybody else is sitting. At the bottom of the table currently is John Ritchie in Brutus. Now they've had an offer to go and drive for another team here on the regular season. We will see if they take that up next month. They've got to do well here, otherwise they're out of Brutus. Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior and Max D still at the bottom of the table there as well. Looking at the top, Dragon dropped down to second place, but only by five points. Monster Mutt there on 80 points. They're in joint third with Lumberjack, all four of our champions so far of the regular season. But points are all still close and things could change at any moment. This month, we have the Nitro Takeover as Gravedigger, El Toro Loco, Max D and Zombie will be sporting new looks. That bodywork looking very cool indeed on the track. Of course, last month we saw the Neon Trucks and this month it's time for Team Nitro. Other news here on the track. Avenger will be sporting their fire body looking very hot, ready for this June heat. That's exciting stuff. And the big news, of course, is that Mohawk Warrior, they've fixed their chassis issues. They seem to be running a lot smoother. They've got a first round buy, as does Brutus. So let's keep an eye on that story as it unfolds. The track talk for June is all about the jumps. The first set of jumps will cause upsets to the trucks. They will either rock one way or the other. That will set them up wrong for this jump across the finish line where it's all to play for. This is a very fast track. We've got protection in the way. Let's take a look at the matchups for round one of racing. Excalibur will take on Jurassic Attack. Stone Crusher will take on Lumberjack. Monster Mutt takes on Avenger. Shaker will take on Blue Thunder. Bigfoot takes on the Lucas Crusader. El Toro Loco takes on Max D. A Nitro matchup, that one. And Earthshaker will be taking on Monster Mutt Rottweiler. First round buys to Zombie, Dragon, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior, Black Pearl, Rockwell Red, Brutus, Iron Outlaw, and Jester. Let's take a look at our first matchup, however. Josh doing things in Gravedigger Nitro. The Nitro body returning to the track. We haven't seen them since the Funky Backyard Challenge. They're taking on Boghog Wyatt Curtis in an all Team Gravedigger matchup here. Gravedigger is in the near lane. Boghog in the far. And we are ready to go racing for June. Let's hit it. Gates are open down the track. They come reasonably even. Boghog pulling just ahead. And I think they took the win. But a very clean run from both of these trucks. Let's take a look at the replay here. Boghog comes up, misses the yellow ramp, but manages to get over nonetheless. Very clean Boghog through to round two and Gravedigger for yet another month is out in round one of racing. They've really got to step it up here. Gravedigger, they are out. Boghog, progress. Steve Calabrese, Earthshaker, comes back to the track now. One-time champion of series yellow back last year. They're up against Caden Wilson in Monster Mutt Rottweiler. He's been doing okay so far this season. Currently sitting about mid-pack, maybe just below, but he's hoping to do a little bit more, as is Steve Calabrese. Let's join them down the track. Gates are open down the track. They come really even, coming down and very close towards the finish and a little trip up there from both trucks. What a save from Caden Wilson. Let's take a look at that in slow-mo. Here we go, look, Caden Wilson is going to get the win there by the looks of things, but catches the back two BKTs on the front side of the downside. Manages to roll the truck over and get back. Meanwhile, Earthshaker, they go over in dramatic style. Caden Wilson will progress, and now Dirt Crew coming in to turn Earthshaker back onto all four BKT tyres. There we go. Earthshaker will race another day, but that day is not today. Next up to the track, Hazard County in Max D, a one-time event champion of the summer season. However, has been doing pretty poorly here on the regular season. They're up against El Toro Loco. Max D have just not been able to put a package together so far. El Toro Loco, they've had up and down season. They're hoping to do more here. Two nitro trucks, only one can progress. Out of the gates they come, down the track, very even. And it is the far side that gets the win, El Toro Loco, as Max D doesn't make it over the ramp. What a shame for them. Let's take a look at what went wrong for Hazard County here. 
didn't quite make the jump. In fact, went sideways over the jump and managed to just hit that barrel square on, turning the truck over, and that is all she wrote for Hazard County. Dirt crew will come in to put them up on their wheels, but they are searching for answers here in the regular season as we are halfway through. Mitch Brown, Bigfoot comes to the track now. They've been doing pretty well this season. A few times they've come top four. He's up against another mid-pack truck here in Lucas Crusader. 50 points for them currently on the season. Anderson Hill, the driver, has said that they want bigger and better things out of this truck. He's hoping for a win here against a top dog like Mitch Brown. That would secure a good place. Gates are open down the track. They come Mitch Brown pulling just ahead, but managed to roll the truck over and did. The Lucas Crusader managed to catch up, or was it too little, too late? Let's take a look. The slow-mo replay will reveal all. Well, Mitch Brown missed times the jump, but managed to get across the line first. It's a very clean run from Anderson Hill in the Lucas Crusader. Mitch Brown on his lid, and that is going to be trouble for the next round for Mitch. They're going to have to thrash on that truck, ready for action. You can see it looks a little bit wonky there. Not sure what the damage is. We will find out as we progress through the round. But for now, we have our first four trucks moving on. Boghog will face Zombie. Monster Mutt Rottweiler will face Dragon. El Toro Loco will face Mohawk Warrior. And Bigfoot will face Black Pearl. All that to come later on. But up first, we have the second half of round one. And we go to the right side of the bracket to join FC Productions in Blue Thunder, a one-time event champion of Series Yellow. They are going up against Devon Treat in Shaker. Now, Devon Treat has said that this could well be the last event for Shaker as a new truck is on the horizon for them. We look forward to seeing that in July. But before that, we've got an event ahead of us. Shaker, Blue Thunder. Gates are open. Down the track they come. Little Bobble in the ramp and it's all gone. Pete Tong in No Man's Land. Let's take a look. Well, things had already gone wrong for Blue Thunder, who goes sideways over the ramp. I wonder if they just clipped Shaker, who managed to hit that downside square on in the front of it and bounces the truck over onto its lid and rolls over. Officials heading down to make sure that both drivers are okay. Chip Chocolate brings Avenger Fire to the track. A one-time event champion of Series Blue is up against Mikey Merton in Monster Mutt, a three-time event champion across multiple events. Monster Mutt looking strong here and up the top of the point standings. Avenger mid-table so far and looking to climb up. Can they get a big win here? Gates are open. It's Monster Mutt immediately with the whole shot. But here comes Avenger towards the end of the race and both trucks end up on their lids. I'm not sure who's won it here. Avenger, they were certainly catching up towards the end. Here we can see the slow-mo replay and the slow-mo will reveal all. It looks as though it's going to be Avenger to take the win. Let's take another look. Super slow-mo replay just to make sure. Monster Mutt were ahead all race until the jump and it's going to be Avenger by about a tyre length in the end. They are taking this monumental win through to round two and Monster Mutt on their lid and out of the competition for June. Wegner Racer in Stone Crusher coming to the track now. They are going up against the one-time event champion, the first champion of the regular season 2024. It's Jack Charlton in Lumberjack. Jack is in the near lane. The truck looking strong. Stone Crusher, they had a good event last month. Can they replicate here? Gates are open down the track. They come reasonably even, but Lumberjack pulling ahead, but rolling it over. And what on earth happened there at the finish line, I wonder? Lumberjack on their roof, a very clean race for Stonecrusher. Here you can see Lumberjack misses the downside, goes sideways, drifting it, but catches a rut and managed to roll the truck over. Stonecrusher did incredibly well to avoid Lumberjack there. That could have been a disastrous crash, but some excellent driving there from Wegner Racer should not be overlooked. Ian Spiros in Jurassic Attack comes to the track next. They're struggling this season a little bit. They're up against tough opposition here in Oliver Stapley, Excalibur. They've been top four a couple of times so far this season. Jurassic Attack is in the near lane. Excalibur is in the far and we're ready to go racing again. Gates are open down the track. They come reasonably even, perhaps a slight pull ahead for Jurassic Attack. Excalibur with a coming back at the end there though. And it's Jurassic Attack who goes over at the line. Let's see why. 
Here they come to the line, a very close race. You can see there that Jurassic Attack just clips the downside, rolls the truck over, but this is a very tight finish. I'm not quite sure who has won it. We're gonna to go to a super slow-mo replay as Excalibur. They may have jumped ahead, but Jurassic Attack were on their way back. But it is gonna be Excalibur to take the win, I'm being told. A couple more inches in this race and Jurassic Attack may just have had it. That is probably the closest race of the night so far. Jurassic Attack are out of the competition, but they can hold their heads high. As we close out round one, let's take a look at the board here. Shaker will go through to face Rockwell Red. They've got a little bit of repairs to do before then. Avenger will be taking on Brutus in yet another team screen kind of matchup. Lumberjack will take on the Iron Outlaw and Excalibur will take on Jester, the reigning champions of the regular season. But first up, we head back to the left for round two. It's Wyatt Curtis in Boghog, going back to the track to face off against Jace Usher in Zombie Nitro. First of all, then Boghog, they defeated Gravedigger to get here. No mean feat. Zombie, meanwhile, in the far lane. They came second last month. Can they replicate or go one stage further? We'll find out. Down the track, these two trucks come. Very even so far and a very even finish there. That is a very close race, ladies and gentlemen. Both trucks end up all cattywampus at the end zone there. Here they come over the line. Good grief, that is tight. Who is going to call that one, I wonder? Officials scratching their head, I can see from here. Well, let's take a look at the super slow-mo replay to see if that sheds any light on it. And I'm literally watching shadows here to see if I can gleam any insight into who has won this one. No, they're declaring it a draw. This is too close to call. So now they're gonna get both trucks down off of the sidewall. That big cushion of crushed cars and barrels doing its job fantastically to stop a big accident or trucks leaving the track. Zombie and Boghog, they swap lanes, ready to go down the track again. Zombie in the near, Boghog in the far. Let's go green. Down the track they come. Really even once again, but Zombie pulling just ahead in a very, very clean race from both of these trucks. This is a good run, but Zombie pulled ahead and that was it. Zombie is gonna go through the Nitro truck, moving on to round three, that first round by paying off for them. Zombie, they progress Boghog, they should hold their head up here. Caden Wilson, Monster Much Rottweiler returning to the track now to face his toughest opposition yet. Cyclops Hobbies in Dragon, a two-time event champion of the regular season. They have been doing spectacularly well. They are top of the table, or they were, until Jester took them out last month. They're looking for redemption here. Caden looking for an upset. Down the track they come. Dragon pulling ahead, and it's all Dragon all the time as Monster Much Rottweiler goes over the jump all Caddy Wampus. Let's take a look at what happened there. Caden Wilson in a bicycle managed to cartwheel the truck over the central dirt mogul and tries to save it, runs out of room and lands on his lid. Caden Wilson out in round two, but fair play. He put everything on the line there up against Dragon. No shame in losing to them. El Toro Loco, Little Chip Chocolate returns to the track now. The one-time event champion of the Summer Showdown in 2022, looking for a big win here. They're up against Mohawk Warrior, who is currently bottom of the table alongside Brutus and Max D, but with a new chassis under them, fixing their issues, or so the team claim, they are looking for big things. Gates are open, down the track they come. Mohawk Warrior just ahead, but El Toro was right there with them. And that is a very close finish. Let's take a look at the slow-mo replay here. El Toro coming back towards the end there and a very, very close end to that race. Mohawk Warrior, they are certainly improved from what we've been seeing here on the regular season. The super slow-mo replay, does it reveal much? Not to me. El Toro managed to just grease the backside of that downside, but it's going to be Mohawk Warrior to take the win here. Mohawk Warrior, far improved from what we've seen so far in the regular season. Returning to the track now, Mitch Brown in Bigfoot. They had quite the crash earlier on. They're up against Charlie Hubbard in the Black Pearl. This truck has done very well so far this season. After this change from Tailgater, the Black Pearl has been making its way up the table. 
They're in the far lane. Bigfoot in the near. Let's see what happens in this race. Gates are open down the track. They come reasonably even, but there goes the body of Bigfoot, and I'm not sure who won that race. All kinds of carnage and chaos happened there as the body went from Bigfoot. Well, the clip clearly wasn't attached very well after their roll earlier on. And not content with that, they've misjudged the jump once again, rolling the truck over. I mean, I can't blame them, really. Their bodywork went flying over the top of them. Very difficult to see in those conditions. Let's take a look at the super slow-mo replay to see who has won this race. That is a knife edge. I cannot tell who has won this race out of Charlie Hubbard and Mitch Brown. We'll need the line on screen. And the line on screen reveals all. By mere inches, it's going to be the Black Pearl to take the win. And Bigfoot, they've had a rough week. And I think that bodywork might be done for the season. Well, let's take a look at who progresses then. Zombie will face Dragon in round three, and Great Clips Mohawk Warrior takes on the Black Pearl in the lower left-hand quadrant. Let's go back to the right-hand side next then. We've got Excalibur, Jester, Lumberjack, Iron Outlaw, Avenger, and Brutus to come, but up first, Devon Treat returns to the track here in Shaker. As I said earlier on, this could be Shaker's final event. Dolphin Master in Rockwell Red, they're gonna hope to send it home early. They're in the near lane, Rockwell Red, Shaker over in the far. They're hoping for big things here. Sending Shaker out on a high. Let's see if they can do it. Down the track they come. Even as they go, Rockwell Red, they find the sidewall of this stadium area. But that is going to end the race there. Now, I've heard officials saying that if a truck hits that sidewall, then they may be disqualified. It's a rule discussion that is presently going on, but it's not presently in play here. And I think the slow-mo replay will reveal that Rockwell Red did in fact win the race. Although I will say that Devon Treat was right there with them. I did not notice that as Rockwell Red found the side wall. Well, this is a closer race than I first thought. Let's take a look at the line on the screen to reveal. It is going to be Rockwell Red by inches. That is a very, very close finish, ladies and gents. Rockwell Red, they're over the wall, but they are through. Chip Chocolate in Avenger, they are coming back to the track. The Series Blue 2023 event champion takes on teammates John Ritchie in Brutus, who I spoke about earlier on. Serial underperformer this season. However, they managed to get a first round by a very fast qualifier for this event. Can they go one stage further? We will see here. Down the track they come and it's Avenger who gets the whole shot very quick out of the traps and I think it's going to be Avenger who takes the win overall as both trucks go over. Brutus, what happened to them? Well, they went over the jump but they went too far, bouncing off of the front of the downside and rolling the truck over from there. Avenger, meanwhile, they hit the cushion at the end of the track and rolled the truck over from that. But it is going to be Avenger to progress. Jack Charlton in Lumberjack returns to the track here. The one-time event champion of the regular season faces off against Kane James TV in the Iron Outlaw, a truck that has done incredibly well all season long, possibly the best truck to have not yet won a championship. Could that all change tonight? Lumberjack in the far lane, Iron Outlaw in the near. Let's go green. Gates are open, down the track they come reasonably even as they go, and that is a very close finish once again. A wheelie from Iron Outlaw and rolling the truck over. Very clean race from Lumberjack, meanwhile. Was it clean enough to win it? Also, can we just recognize a full 90-degree wheelie from Iron Outlaw? Incredible skills managing to complete the race up-ended. Let's take a look to see the slow-mo replay. Here we go. Just lifting up, but I think Iron Outlaw is going to get the win here. Upright and through. Some incredible control from Iron Outlaw. They take out the one-time champion, Lumberjack. They are on their roof, but no worries, they are through. Oliver Stapley in Excalibur returning to the track now to face the reigning champion of the regular season, Elliot Spiros in Jester. This truck was bad fast last month. And they are looking to replicate here. Excalibur, they've got their work cut out for them. They're in the far lane, Jester in the near. Let's go green. Gates are open, down the track they come. Jester found the fast pedal very, very quickly, and I think they're going to take the win there. Excalibur, well, they did incredibly well to try and keep up, but 
Jester just so fast down the track. Not the cleanest finish to their race, but clean enough for them to stay on all four BKTs and win this race in fine style. There they are, almost posing for the camera. Well, moving through from the right-hand side, Rockwell Red takes out Shaker. Avenger moves on, as does the Iron Outlaw and Jester. We've got an all Escalade race down there. Those two trucks, they've been consistently good all season, as has Dragon. The others, it's potluck. We will see how it goes tonight. Jace Usher now returning to the track for round three of racing. Zombie faces off against Dragon, the two-time event champion of the regular season. They are looking to make it three tonight. Zombie, second place last month. Can they defeat the Dragon? Can they slay it and go all the way tonight? Out of the gates they come, very close down the ramp and a very close finish as Dragon rolls it over. That is an exciting finish to this race. Dragon, they've been good all the while and that is the roughest landing they've had in a little while. Zombie was on their heels. Did they get the win, however? I'm not so sure. Let's take a look. Zombie misses the main ramp. They go over the dirt mogul and I think that tiny, tiny mistake is going to be all it takes for the Dragon to continue in this race. But they're going to have some truck damage to deal with here as they need to be rolled back over by the dirt crew. Back onto all four BKTs and you can see there's a slight slant to that truck. They have to fix those shocks in rapid time. Meanwhile, RRC Family Gaming in the Mohawk Warrior comes back to the track. The Black Pearl is who they are facing off against. Mohawk Warrior in the near lane. They have done incredibly well so far tonight. All of those truck issues that they've had, all those gremlins seem to be fixed. Can they keep this winning streak alive? Gates are open down the track. They come reasonably even. A slight pull ahead for the Mohawk Warrior who finds the sidewall as well as the Black Pearl ends up in a wheel stand there. A complete 90 degree wheelie finish for them. Let's take a look at why. Well, they had a very slight wobble as they went towards the jump. They misjudge that jump and they end up on their back end. The Black Pearl, they raced hard, but they are out. And the Mohawk Warrior, they continue this Cinderella run. Dolphin Master in Rockwell Red returns to the track. They were a top four last month. They are up against Chip Chocolate in Avenger, who is doing incredibly well this month. They've struggled so far this season to get a package all together. This could be the night, however, as Avenger remains in the competition. They face stiff opposition in Rockwell Red. They've been top four a couple of times now. Let's see how they get on here. Gates are open, down the track they come. Reasonably even, very even in fact, across the line. And I think I just saw some excellent control from Dolphin Master there. Avenger, they mistimed the jump. Rockwell Red were on their way out of the track but managed to turn just in time using that side wall to stay in. But it is all too late for them as Avenger, they clatter across the line, but they do indeed take the win. Avenger, they move on. Can James TV in the Iron Outlaw truck return to the track now? They are up against fellow Escalades in Elliot Spiros, Jester. The Jester Laid was the champion last month. They are hoping to hold on to that title. They carry the flag. Iron Outlaw in the near lane. Jester over in the far. We will see which one of these goes on. We are waiting on the green light. Gates are open down the track. They come and it's Jester who is ahead and I think they hold that lead. A very, very fast race though. Let's take a look at the slow-mo replay. Even this seeming like real time. Very, very close race. Very clean race as well from both of these two trucks. But Jester, they are in a good groove now and they are coming for Dragon's winning streak. Iron Outlaw, they end up on their side. They are out of the competition, but a tough race, well fought. Here are tonight's top four then, Dragon and Jester, the last two champions of the regular season. They are still in the competition. Mohawk Warrior and Avenger, they have not been performing quite as well as this all season long, but they have done incredibly well to get to this stage tonight. All four of these trucks, former champions of Backyard Jam. First up, we have Mohawk Warrior, one-time champion of Series Red. They are taking on the two event champion, of Cyclops Hobbies Dragon. Of course, there was a point where they were seemingly undefeatable. They are hoping to claim that title again tonight. Can Mohawk Warrior prove that wrong? We shall find out as we go green for our semi-finals. 
down the track they come very even dragon pulling just ahead and a full nose wheelie there from the mohawk warrior what incredible two wheel skills we are seeing here well dragon is going to win the race and congratulations to them for it but let's take a look at that that is the best bit of two wheel skills I think I've seen all season long. Hell, if you're not going to win a race, you might as well make a good show of it. And sure enough, RRC Family Gaming do just that. Dragon will progress, but Mohawk Warrior has our hearts. Chip Chocolate in Avenger, the one time event champion of Series Blue last year, now takes on the one time and reigning champion of the regular season, Elliot Spiros in Jester. The Jester laid incredibly fast all night long. They have seemed unstoppable. Avenger, they've been quite lucky to get through some of their races. Will their luck run out here? Down the track they come and Jester already ahead, but here comes Avenger. What an incredibly close finish to this race. That was interesting. Let's take a look at the slow-mo replay here. Look at the launch from Avenger. And they finished the race almost side by side, door to door with Jester, who I don't think know what's just hit them. Let's take a look. The super slow-mo replay will reveal all. That is incredibly close. And to me, that looks like an Avenger win. I'm being told it is. The reigning champions have fallen. Avenger, by just a hair's breadth, they go through an incredible race from Chip Chocolate. They have killed off the Jester for this event. And what a race to do it in. Avenger will make its way to its first final here in the regular season there to face off against Dragon. Now Dragon is no easy competitor for them. They have been lucky so far tonight. They have put the hammer down when they've needed to but Dragon they are always a force to be reckoned with on this track. It's going to be Avenger in the near lane. It's going to be Dragon in the far. Chip Chocolate the one-time event champion of Series Blue. They are hoping to make it to we saw a similar story last week with Zombie, who hadn't really done much in this season. They came up to the track. Could they have taken the championship? Maybe, but they didn't quite manage it. They got defeated by Jester. Avenger are going to hope to defeat Dragon here to claim another event championship. Dragon, they're going to try and make it three. Gates are open down the track. They come and it's Dragon pulling just ahead. Avenger right there with them, though, as both trucks roll at the finish line. Let's take a look at the super slow replay here. Dragon just ahead on the jump. Avenger very close behind them, but I think it is a Dragon win once again as Avenger, they go rolling onto their lid. Everything on the line from both of these trucks. And what an incredible racing final this was. What an incredible race. Avenger, they should hold their head up high. They've done incredibly well, but not as well as now three-time event champion. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause, a huge cheer for Cyclops Hobbies in Dragon. There they are, soaking in the sun and indeed their third overall championship win. They claim another win on the season and more points with it. And that is gonna be interesting to see as we take a look at the tables in just a moment. But another huge congratulations to the Dragon team for tonight's awesome win. Here are the points then after June. Brutus down the bottom of the table on 35, then up to 22nd place for Jurassic Attack and Max D. 19th place for Mohawk Warrior Shaker El Toro Loco, then 16th place for Stone Crusher, Lucas Crusader and Earthshaker. 14th place for Grave Digger and Monster Mutt Rottweiler and 11th place for Bog Hog, the Black Pearl, Blue Thunder. Up to 9th place for Avenger and Zombie. 8th goes to Excalibur. Then joint fifth now, Rockwell Red, Bigfoot and Monster Mutt all on 85 points. The Iron Outlaw and Lumberjack tied with 90. Jester in second with 115, but five points ahead now on 120 points is Dragon. And that just about does it for June. We will be back for two events in July, both the regular season continuing and the summer showdown back for the first time in two years. We hope you'll join us for both of those and for the continuation of the regular season. Until then, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, do subscribe to the channel, and we shall see you again next month for more racing action. Until then, I've been your host, Jim Woodrow. Goodbye.